Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about some more spoilers for BoxyCharm. We have the first variations for the Lux box and the base box. And a new photo was released by um, Joe this morning. And there are some interesting new products coming up. Some confirmations about the first complexion products we're going to be getting. And yeah, so we're going to be going through all those today. I don't have a stitch of anything on my face right now because I thought I would multitask and kind of do my skincare while I'm talking about these products. So I hope you don't mind. Um, if you want to hear everything that is going on with the BoxyCharm, then keep on watching this video, of course. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Wolf Pack today. And let's get into it. I almost forgot my online. Okay, um, so I've already cleansed my face and I used, where is it? I used the uh, Glam Glow. This is the Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser just because I wanted to cleanse and exfoliate all in one step and so in the interest of saving time, I actually really do like this cleanser a lot. By the way, if you are an Ipsy subscriber, this is one of the add-on products you can get today. December the 2nd is Ipsy add-ons. Alright, so next after that I'm going with my face toner. This is from Skin & Co. This is the Truffle Therapy Essential Face Toner. Okay, so first off, I get this comment a lot in my videos and I totally understand why I do, but it's always, you know, you're talking so much about premium, you're talking about Lux. We don't really hear a whole lot about what's going on with the base box. And the reason for that is oftentimes the last two products, you know, Box of Charm, they will feature three, about three products per month in the box and normally the last two products are always a filler because they're not featuring them or you know heavily talking about them they kind of keep quiet about it. they don't really say anything until the PR boxes start going out and then we can actually see what they are um, but we do know early what they are and the odd thing is it's not because of PR boxes it's because of YouTube if you go on to watch a YouTube video about BoxyCharm more often than not you are going to see an ad for BoxyCharm. And so we know what the first official variation for the month is. Um, just a really quick recap on the items, the featured items that you already know about. This particular box had the red palette of the Storybook Cosmetics and there is a variation. You're either going to get the green palette or the red palette. The red palette is the one I hope I get. They got the Marbled Light Blush from Ciate London. And they got the Elemis face oil. Now the face oil, that one's going to depend on what you chose for your particular customization. Either that or the uh, Saturday Skin Moisturizer. Um, I do want to say up front, I haven't seen any variations yet that has that Saturday Skin in it. The next prop that I'm going to use, this is from Fresh. This is the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. This is just to prime your skin before your serums. Um, the new products that we know that are in the box, the first one is a brow palette, and this is from Brow Bar by Rima. Now, I had planned on doing a video earlier going over some secret surveys that were being sent out that someone had sent me images of. I'm just slapping my face. And that was one of the brands that was on that list, and there are several more on there, and I need to do that video as soon as possible since I know they're coming, you know, they're coming out. Um, but this has three different shades. It has a brush with it and what appears to be a maybe a brow gel to keep your brow hairs in place. I'm not sure about the retail value on that. If I can find it, I'll make sure I include it down below. And this, I do want to make sure that you guys are going in there and updating your preferences under your beauty profile quiz. Make sure because there are going to be different colors that you can get and I want to make sure that you're getting the one that, that will actually work for you. And the other product that we saw, this is from Seraphine Botanicals, um, the Daikon Dreams Lip Exfoliator. We've actually gotten Seraphine Botanicals before. I've had this for a while, I've only used it a couple of times, and it took me forever to even open it, because just, I'm one of those people who don't like to have a bunch of stuff open all at the same time. Um, but this is, the one that I have is the Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer, and it's just a, a lip scrub and a tube, which makes it a little bit easier to use. I really enjoy this. I've gotten her blushes. I really, really enjoy her brand and I'm excited to see that this is going to be in the box. Um, I think this is going to be, if you're not going to do a premium, I think that's what it is. This is just for the base, base, base box. And the next product that I'm going to go in with, this is the Kypris Antioxidant and Dew Quench and Glow Serum that everyone got in their November box. If you chose that item, sorry. <laughs> um, 
I've actually been using this a couple of times and I really like it. It does feel really nice. It's a moisturizing serum. Now let's talk about the Lux box. This was shared on Instagram. Um, so many different accounts are showing the same image over and over. And I don't know if this person, because they got it so early, if they didn't know they weren't supposed to show their, their PR box so early or something. I don't know. I think this was an accidental leak. I don't think this was something that was meant to be shown this early um, because I haven't even gotten tracking information for my BoxyCharm boxes yet. I did get tracking for one of my pop-up orders. So if you haven't um, heard anything yet, make sure you go check your emails. Just double check that they are. They didn't say they were going to ship anything till after Christmas. So I was shocked to see that email. Um, and I was so excited because the first one, it was my third order. They only had a couple of items that I was going to use to do the giveaway, like the brush set over here. As soon as it's in here and in my hands and everything's good, that giveaway is going to be posted. And I may possibly be having a skincare fridge also. Like, December is going to be a good month. I'm so excited. Um, so, the Lux variation. Just, I'm not going to do a whole rundown of everything. I'm just going to go through pretty quickly. Um, everything that they had that we know so far, this variation got the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, the Storybook Cosmetics Palette, the M. Dot Green Grass Dry Oil Spray. Oh, and I'm not a fan of the packaging on this. It just came in a little Ziploc bag. I'm actually pretty worried that that's going to spill out into the other things in the box. I just, M. Dot Green Grass doesn't really have much of a social media presence. Their website isn't that, there's not really a whole lot to it. Like, I, they need some help. I think they're a small brand, but they need... There's a couple of areas where they can definitely improve and raise awareness about them because from what I understand, people who have gotten their products in the past really enjoyed them. They also got the Face Roller, the Marbled Blush from Ciate London, the Elmas Face Oil, the Too Faced Rich Gloss, and the newest items that we see in the picture. These are the two surprise products. We didn't know what they were and I haven't seen them advertised anywhere. They just came out of like I said, flat out nowhere. Uh, the first one is the Daily Concepts hair towel. I actually am really, really excited for this. I'm hoping everyone gets this. And I'm guessing, I was thinking that the M.Dot Greengrass was going to be the lifestyle item, but I guess the hair towel qualifies for that. So maybe the dry oil, oil spray is for your body. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I couldn't find anything online about this. So I really won't even know how to use it until I get it because they have no information. They need help on their website. I don't know if there's going to be multiple colors out there or not. Um, I'm going with my eye serum. This is from Lancome, the Advanced Genifique You, whatever it is. I keep wanting to say the name in here. That's yeah. Yeah. There is, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. Um, this is the Eye Illuminator Youth Activating Concentrate. And this is just going to go on my my eyes to prep for my eye cream. Um, I don't know if there's going to be multiple colors you can get of the towel. I think what they were showing online was just a gray. And that's, you know, that's okay. I'm not going to fuss about what color towel I get. I don't care that much because it's just drying your hair, you know. It's not something that is going to be out and about with me. It's not something that I'm really going to have to look at a whole lot. You just dry it and put it on and go. Um, if you, one thing that my hairdresser did remind me about those is not to twist your hair too tightly because if while your hair is wet, you can stretch it. So you gotta be careful if you're worrying about breakage or damage to your hair. Just a little side note tip for that. Um, and the other item that not everyone on Instagram is tagging in their post because maybe they haven't found it yet. Um, we are getting a spray. This is a power up spray from the company in beauty i've never heard this company before daily concepts the hair towel i've actually heard from them through fabfitfun but in beauty literally have no idea about that and i'm going to read you what that is while my eye serum is kind of doing its thing and settling in so this is non-toxic affordable skincare for all in beauty project and if you hear noises in the background devin's working you guys know the drill um light gatorade for your skin an energizing face mist an energizing face mist, clarifying toner, and makeup setting spray in one. Uniquely formulated with two layers that activate when you shake them. The top layer is made of weightless botanical oils, um, moringa seed, and ginger root oil that nourish and soothe the skin while 
giving you a glow that is never greasy or oily. The bottom layer is made up of witch hazel. I like that it has witch hazel in it. Aloe and electrolytes, which purify, hydrate, and energize, <laughs> and energize the skin. Use Power Up after your cleanse to tone skin and prep for makeup, to set your makeup, and throughout the day to revive and recharge dull, tired, stressed out skin. So this promises to be a miracle in a bottle, basically. Um, I'm kind of skeptical when it comes to products like that. Especially if something is meant for toning your face. I don't I don't know if that's really something that I want to do after I do my makeup. Or if it has that extra step and it's supposed to be super, super hydrating. Sometimes it can make your face turn sticky. So I'm not sure how this is. If any of you guys have that product, can you please let me know what you think of it? I may just be over worrying for nothing. But I'm just, I'm just curious. Alright, so... Now, the last thing that I want to talk about in today's video. Joe went on to Instagram, and he has a TikTok page now. So, there's another place you're going to have to look for if you're wanting to find spoilers. So, I will be on TikTok soon. Um, as soon as I do, I will probably post it down in the description box of the video, so you can follow me there if you want to, because, you know, it may be fun to post videos there. Back, you remember the, the complexion cards we got in November? The Pretty Vulgar cards and the Becca foundation cards. So we know what the first uh, complexion product is going to be for BoxyCharm. He posted a video and it showed the Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics concealers. Uh, four different shades, so it looks like it is going to be four shades that were on the cards. And I got one pack, I'm not sure if there were two different versions of it, maybe for the medium to deep and I got the light to medium skin tones. But I mean, I'm very kind of fair skinned and the samples that they sent out, even the lightest shade was too dark for me to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. And the other products he had in the video was the pretty, the rich and dazzling, whatever it's called the diamond highlighter from Too Faced. He had the box beside the concealer, which makes me think it's gonna be either or kind of situation, so I'm not really sure. I do like that he's given us an option, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad that we're not gonna get both of them, if, the, if that's the case. And then at the bottom, he actually showed the highlighter, so you can see what it is. But the thing that I was most interested in was what was at the top of the page. It took me a very, very long time to find this. And I felt like an idiot because when I was looking at it, there's two eyeshadows up in the top. When I was looking at it, I was like, I've seen those palettes. Especially the one that had the green and the blue shadows beside each other. I have seen those. Like, I think I had an opportunity to get them and I didn't. And then finally hit me. It's Ace Beauty. So the eyeshadow palettes, the first one that I was talking about, the one that had the green and the blue beside each other, because they are very distinct colors, it just, those two for some reason beside each other stood out to me the most. That one is the Vintage Dawn eyeshadow palette. Um, that one is a mixture of green, blues, neutrals, some pops of color with the yellow shades. And the other palette, which is what I think most people are going to gravitate towards, because pink seems to be more of a, a neutral now. It's a lot easier to wear. Um, that was a warm tone palette. It's honestly that's the one I want. It's so pretty. Um, that one is the Scarlet Dusk. Um, Ace Beauty. We've had them a few times. The Boxy Charm, the Grandiose palette. That one was in there, and I love that palette till this day. I use that so many times. I am so excited for everything that's coming up. The only thing that I didn't really understand in that photo, you know, where I was doing my research, the only thing I couldn't see was there was a box up there with the eyeshadow palettes also. It looks like, I can't tell if it's just a box for the concealers or maybe because we still haven't seen that Natasha Denona lip gloss that he has shown us a couple of times previously. I still haven't seen that anywhere so I'm wondering if that's it and I just can't see it because of the way he, because Joe is very very specific whenever he's showing these products. He just does a quick zoom over and he'll give you a hint of what's going on over here and then that's it. Um, and another thing, I still haven't seen anything else about the Too Faced, the Palm eyeshadow palette that we saw where it had the real pretty pop of blue and the Tropical palette. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have a picture of it on the screen here. We still haven't seen that one yet either. So it may be an either or situation like the Ace Beauty palettes are going to be in the base box and maybe that Too Faced palette will be in premium. And this is going to be for Q1. 
I think this is going to be for the January box. He's going to have more details coming up tomorrow about how the choice for premium is going to go. So I'm really curious to see how that does. And I will have a video on that as soon as it's live or as soon as he gives us some information about it. But um, the last thing that I want to do in my skincare routine, um, I'm going to use a QMS eye cream, the intensive eye care day and night eye cream that we got in our boxy premium. Oh, and comment below who was able to get off the wait list. Um, from what I understand, a lot of people were able to get off of there. Um, I did see some people say that they just had joined the wait list the day before and they got off the wait list. And then there were people who have been waiting since before it was launched or since before it launched that they got an email saying that they their billing was messed up and then moved on to the next person so i know joe couldn't get everyone off of the list but i think he got as many as he possibly could because he said in another video that he didn't want the you know he could pull everyone off the list and go ahead and have them in there but then it would lower the quality of the products that are in the box because ultimately he would have to have more fillers to accommodate these new people coming on um it's a balancing act i really don't think there's anything that he could do to please everyone but i do think it's unfortunate that they only tried billing one time and then they moved on i wished that they had tried a couple of times before they did that um, and for moisturizer i'm gonna use the tarte drink of h2o i'm not even sure if you guys can see this because of the glare um, this is a gel moisturizer and I'm almost out of it. I'm trying to use it up so I can get rid of it because I have some other moisturizers that are ready to come into play, you know? They need to be used. But I just, that is pretty much everything going on with BoxyCharm. I just wanted to kind of do our skincare together because it is kind of earlier than my normal videos while you know at the time I'm filming this and so I kind of thought depending on where you are maybe we can do our skincare together. So that is everything that is going on. I have got some makeup videos planned for you guys today and that's actually what I'm going to be doing next. After I do this, I will be doing my, my skincare or my makeup and I forgot to take my, my serums on my neck, but I'm going to use a different one. This is another one from Lancome, the um, Youth Activating Concentrate and I'm just going to use this on my neck. This is my favorite serum, by the way. It is expensive. It is incredibly expensive, but I don't care because I like it a lot. I buy it whenever I can get it on sale. It's the only time I get to purchase it. But I have several that I'm stocked up for now for a while, thank goodness. Alright guys, well thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me today and play with some skincare. Comment below if you were doing your skincare with me or your makeup, just a little get ready with me. Um, I have started getting in my order from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I did get the loose highlighter in Extra. So I will be using that in an upcoming video very soon. But yeah, guys, I love you all so much. I hope you're having a great day. And comment below what you are most excited for. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.